Yeah, hi, uh, this is Rushab here, and welcome to the uh, Flap Rapid Developer uh, Training uh, first session. Uh, this session has been jointly recorded by Anand and myself, and uh, I'll be giving the voiceover. The session is intended for developers who want to build uh, standalone apps on Frappe or want to build extensions to ERP Next. Uh, so let us just quickly start with a quick introduction of the Frappe framework and uh, what it is all about. So what is Frappe? Uh, Frappe is a web application framework. It helps you build applications that can be served on the web. It does rapid application development. It has batteries included, means it has a whole bunch of features that help you to quickly build apps rather than doing coding. It's built on Python, MariaDB, JavaScript, and it's deployable on any Unix or Linux uh, platform. So Frappe is also a multi-tenant uh, framework, so it helps you uh, manage multiple sites. Uh, each site is uh, a, a different database for a user. The containing tool is what we call the bench. And we'll just uh, quickly understand what what are sites, what are apps, and what is bench. So an app is uh, app is a, a, a program which basically contains the user functionality. It's like an accounting or a CRM uh, is is an app. It has models, views, and controllers. It has structures on how the data is structured, how it is viewed, and it has uh, APIs so that it can connect uh, with other apps. A site is a database. It is also served on the web, so it's like a website. A site contains all your files, backups, and data. And a site also contains apps, so you install apps on sites. Uh, and then a site can uh, install multiple apps. So incidentally, Frappe is also an app uh, that, uh, that, that is installed on every site. So to manage all of this, we have a tool called Bench. Uh, Bench is a lot of things. It is a command line tool that helps you quickly run uh, commands for Frappe. It helps you manage sites. It helps you create sites, remove sites, backup sites. Helps you install apps, create apps, and download new apps from GitHub. Uh, it also helps you to deploy in production and it also it is also virtual environment so that on one server you can have multiple benches with each uh, having different versions of different uh, apps. So to start this uh, session you need to install the bench and the instructions of installation of the bench are at uh, the GitHub site and uh, uh, it's basically there is a if, if you're using any standard Linux platform then it's a one line uh, instruction that you just need to download and run on your command line or you can install some of the prerequisites manually. If you need any help you can go to discuss.erpnext.com. So what does uh, bench uh, install script do? It uh, basically uh, it helps you install Python 2.7, MariaDB, Redis, Node and all the other prerequisites that you require to run the Frappe framework. Uh, you can also install them manually and uh, and and then just uh, clone the bench folder directly from GitHub. So w once you install the bench and you uh, initialize a new bench, uh, this is the basic structure you see. Uh, you have a Frappe bench folder, which is your first bench, and then you have apps and sites uh, within uh, Frappe bench. Uh, quick uh, uh, thing to remember that you should always run the bench command from the Frappe bench folder. So now let's start uh, with the screencast. For, for the developer training, what we have in mind is uh, we'll create a me me meeting management application that will help us track meetings and create minutes and agenda. So uh, let us start uh, with uh, making this app. Just go to your Frappe Bench folder and then just create, uh, just, just run the uh, bench uh, new app um, uh, command line with um, uh, with your app name and it's going to ask you a bunch of questions on about the app the title the description okay we use the default icon uh, you can select the default color default um, license so once you your app is created uh, you can just um, so it will show you that your app called meeting has been created on so and so folder and let's just open uh, what that folder looks like. Hi, so welcome to our first thought bubble. This is where we can discuss things, uh, just break the screencast for a moment and discuss things. 
So you may have used fancy developer tools, but uh, for Frappe UI, uh, for Frappe development, we just recommend a simple text editor. Uh, you can also uh, use Atom, which is a great ed editor that we recommend. Thanks. Now back to the screencast. So uh, we're just opening uh, the text editor to see uh, what the app is. So, so a basic scaffolding has been created for the app. Um, uh, you have different folders, you have a config folder inside the app, you have a module which is the same name of the app, you have templates that are used on the web and you have a, a, a file called hooks. Hooks is, is, is what defines uh, the basic configuration of the app and how the app connects to other apps uh, in the Frappe system. Uh, in templates you have a few uh, folders already created uh, for the web images. In, in your config, uh, you have a, a basic documentation configuration file. Now, what we will do um, after creating an app is we'll install it on a new site. So let us just uh, quickly create a new site. Uh, you can use the bench new site uh, command to create a new site. And then once the site is created, then you can uh, uh, then we can install the meeting app that we created on that site. So to install the app, uh, we, can, we use the bench install app command. So by doing this, the app gets installed on the site. Right now, it doesn't have any functionality. It's just an empty app uh, that we have created. Yeah, so welcome to our second thought bubble of this session. Uh, for every site, uh, we have a site config.json file in, that, uh, in the site folder of that particular site that explains uh, some of the basic settings like the name of the database and the password uh, that was created and it can have a lot of other settings like developer mode. And now let's get back to our uh, screencast. To start uh, developing we have to set uh, the developer mode as one. We can do this by editing the site config.json file of the site. So as you know all your sites are in the sites folder of your bench and all your apps are on the um, apps folder. Uh, so this is another way of setting developer mode. You can just use bench site meeting dev set config developer mode is one. So that is that will also help you set the developer mode. Um, so now let's uh, start uh, start this site. Um, so again, what uh, what is being done here is that uh, we are adding a host name to the site so that we can easily access it on the um, on the browser and, um, and there are, uh, so bench is by default a multi-tenant uh, uh, platform where you can simultaneously uh, serve multiple sites uh, on the same platform so Anand is just uh, creating a host name uh, in his hosts uh, etc host file so when, uh, you, when you go to meeting dev it will automatically uh, uh, so from 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 the bench uh, uh, the the bench service. So let's just go to the browser and uh, okay. So let's start the bench uh, with this uh, new thing. Uh, after setting the host name, let's just start the bench. So the bench has been started, and uh, we should be able to go to the browser and um, now log into the site. Yeah, so uh, when you go to uh, HTTP, uh, HTTP meeting.dev and the port name, uh, you log in with your administrator admin as the login name password. You just see a basic setup wizard, uh, which recently has been ported into Frappe uh, from ERP Next. And you define your country, time zone, and other stuff. And then your setup is complete. And, and there you have a, a Frappe site. Yeah, uh, so thanks for uh, listening in and we'll catch you in the second session on creating documents.